Welcome viewers, in this episode of Marine Engineering for Bloody Idiots, we're going full bilge rat mateys, as we investigate, you guessed it, the bilge system, which, like public sewage workers, does an important job none of us are willing to do. Our journey begins at the bilge wells, where water, sludge, and various forms of <coughs> accumulate. It flows through pipes to a manifold for distribution. From this manifold, the bilge water flows through another manifold, and is then forced through a simplex suction strainer, as indicated by Ian. Then fed through a mighty centrifugal pump. From here, the fluid is propelled to yet another manifold. Yes, another bloody manifold. There's a whole clan of them, and they rule the bilge with an iron fist and rotating valves. And here we get a closer look at one of the manifold clansmen. As you can see, they are a tight-knit bunch, so finding one by itself was tricky. As demonstrated by Ian, the fluid enters through a ball valve, where it can exit through any number of channels. And in the return half, the fluid may enter through different channels before exiting and returning to the system. As you can see, it can be diverted as necessary through one or more valves. The same principle is at play with the return half of the manifold, and the fluid is free to be diverted by the crew as needed. From here, the processed bilge water is distributed to any of three places, the forward port ballast tank, the forward starboard ballast tank, or overboard to the great ocean environment. Yes, this is a shameless plug. Go watch one of my documentaries. Next on our bilge safari, we take a closer look at the oily bilge water filtration system. Beginning in the appropriately named Rose Box, whose sewage smells like roses, I'm quite sure, although we have saved you the misfortune of having to smell it yourself. The waste is forced into an oily water collecting tank, an utter cesspool which even the bravest of souls dare not enter. Our path continues to a fork in this river of repugnant industrial sludge. Should the vessel happen to be in port, a transfer pump down one of these paths delivers the waste to a holding facility ashore. As we lie in wait for our hand model to write but a single bloody word! Should the vessel be denied this option, however, the bilge water flows through the oily water separator, which contains three stages. First, we have our vacuum stage. The two filtration stages are shown in the following footage. It should be known, the filming of these great beasts cost a great many lives, such as Bob. He dropped a sandwich and tried to retrieve it. He will be missed. As our hand model does his Vanna White impression, we see the oily water flowing from the vacuum stage into the first filtration stage, where most of the oil collects at the top of the tank to be siphoned off to the dirty oil collecting tank. The slightly less oily water then flows into the second filtration stage, where the remainder of the oil is separated out and sent to the dirty oil tank. The clean water will proceed unperturbed. The clean water is discharged then through a three-way dump valve for discharge overboard into the serene natural beauty of the ocean. And as stated before, the oil is transported to a collection tank where it will be held until it can be transported off the ship while it is in port. This has been a journey into one of the filthiest systems known to sailor kind. Thank you for joining us on this thoroughly field safari. Join us next time on Marine Engineering for Bloody Idiots.